The tiny house movement is gaining momentum, offering a sustainable and alternative lifestyle. As more individuals opt for downsizing and embracing simplicity, the appeal of tiny houses continues to rise. However, before diving into the building or buying a tiny house, it's essential to grasp the associated costs and budget accordingly. In this episode, we'll explore the factors influencing tiny house costs, expenses breakdown, and valuable budgeting tips. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, smash the like, and let's delve right in. Advocating for simplified living, tiny houses are small, often portable dwellings, ranging from 100 to 400 square feet, emphasizing functionality and minimalism. The movement is fueled by the desire for financial freedom, environmental consciousness, and a departure from traditional housing norms. Although tiny home living isn't for everyone, the trend persists even amid pandemic-related lockdowns. A late 2020 survey revealed that 56% of Americans would consider living in a tiny home, with industry experts projecting a 4.88% growth in the tiny homes market between 2022 and 2027. Television shows like Tiny House Nation and Tiny House, Big Living have popularized downsizing as a lifestyle choice. For some, living in a smaller home offers financial freedom from burdensome mortgages or steep rents, while for others, it's a means to embrace a more eco-friendly living footprint. Residing in a tiny house presents several benefits, such as decreased living expenses, minimal environmental impact, and the opportunity for a debt-free life. Furthermore, tiny houses foster a sense of liberation, empowering individuals to prioritize experiences over material possessions and live more intentionally. Renowned for their sustainability, tiny houses demand fewer resources for construction and maintenance, utilize alternative energy sources, and have a smaller ecological footprint. From a financial standpoint, their compact size results in reduced construction, maintenance, and utility costs, making tiny houses an appealing choice for those aiming for financial adaptability. The initial cost of a tiny house varies based on factors such as its size, finishes, amenities, and whether it's self-built, custom-made, or pre-owned. Prices can range from a few thousand dollars to over $150,000, depending on the desired features. Generally, these homes measure between 26 to 30 feet in length, some even longer, and are designed to be mounted on trailer beds, functioning similarly to RVs. Tiny home builders offer comprehensive services, constructing tiny houses from scratch and furnishing them with appliances like air conditioning, induction cooktops, microwaves, and tankless water heaters. Although tiny houses are more affordable than traditional homes, obtaining a mortgage for one is not an option. Instead, you can explore alternative financing methods, such as recreational vehicle loans or travel trailer loans from credit unions, especially if your tiny house meets the criteria to be classified as an RV or travel trailer. Companies like Rock Solid Funding, based in Waco, Texas, specialize in assisting consumers in securing these loans. With terms ranging from 3 to 20 years and interest rates between 4.5% to 17.99%. Another option is a personal loan, although it typically carries a higher interest rate compared to a traditional mortgage. Charging the cost of your tiny house to one or more credit cards is also possible, but the interest payments can be expensive. It's important to note that, unlike mortgage interest, Interest from credit cards or personal loans is not tax deductible. If you own a traditional home and plan to continue doing so, you could consider using a home equity loan or line of credit to finance your tiny house. While this option may offer tax deductible interest, it puts your primary home up as collateral, which means you could face foreclosure if you're unable to make the loan payments. To qualify for financing for a tiny house, having excellent credit, a score of at least 670 or higher, is essential for an unsecured loan, while good credit, 580 or better, is required for a secured loan. The better your credit score, the lower your interest rate will likely be. Saving up and purchasing your tiny house with cash is the most cost-effective option. However, if financing is necessary, there are lenders like Lightstream that offer specialized personal loans for tiny homes.
Acquiring land is essential for placing your tiny house. The amount of land needed, its location, and whether you rent or buy it will determine its cost. However, purchasing a piece of land for a tiny dwelling might be restricted by most cities' zoning laws. Therefore, renting rather than owning, the land beneath your tiny house is often the solution. The American Tiny House Association provides valuable information on local regulations regarding tiny homes. If your tiny house is on a trailer and local regulations permit homeowners to park trailers on their property, you might be able to rent land from a traditional homeowner for a few hundred dollars a month. However, it's crucial to note that while some municipalities allow homeowners to park trailers on their property, they may not permit inhabiting those trailers as primary residences. Thus, thorough research on local laws is essential before parking your house. For those with a nomadic lifestyle, parking your tiny house at various campsites could be an option, provided you adhere to the maximum stay limits. Alternatively, a trailer park or mobile home park might be feasible, although certain restrictions like height limitations might apply. If you already own land that meets the legal and logistical requirements for accommodating your tiny house, your land costs will be minimal. Securing the required permits for constructing and residing in a tiny house is a crucial yet frequently neglected aspect of cost assessment. Permit fees and regulatory prerequisites differ depending on the jurisdiction. The choice of construction materials, spanning from framing and insulation to roofing and siding, significantly influences the budget. It's vital to find a balance between quality and cost effectiveness. Opting for high-end or custom materials can notably escalate expenses, whereas utilizing reclaimed or salvaged materials can offer cost savings. Employing skilled labor for constructing a tiny house constitutes a substantial portion of the total expenses. Labor costs fluctuate depending on the builder's experience, expertise, and the intricacy of the design. Skilled labor for complex customizations or off-grid features may demand higher wages. It's essential to grasp the local labor market dynamics and negotiate fair wages to effectively manage the budget. Considering the expense of connecting to essential utilities like water, electricity, and sewage is crucial. Off-grid solutions, despite providing long-term savings, necessitate upfront investment. For individuals opting to live off the grid, integrating sustainable systems such as solar panels, composting toilets, and rainwater harvesting entails additional expenses for the project. Equipping the interior of a tiny house with furniture, appliances, and fixtures accounts for a significant portion of the budget. Choosing space-saving and multifunctional furnishings can efficiently utilize the available space and budget. While personalized touches and custom features enhance the uniqueness of a tiny house, they may also increase the overall expenses. Embarking on a do-it-yourself DIY tiny house project often provides a more budget-friendly option compared to purchasing a pre-built unit. However, the cost difference depends on various factors, including individual skills, available time, and access to resources. Tumbleweed Tiny Homes offers customizable plans for nine models designed to be on foundations. Additionally, Tumbleweed shares 3D tours on their website. Taking on the construction of a tiny house as a DIY project can result in significant cost savings. However, it also presents challenges such as time commitment, the need for specialized knowledge, and potential setbacks during the building process. Opting for a pre-built or custom-built tiny house provides the advantage of convenience and a faster move-in process. However, it typically comes with a higher price tag. Balancing the cost with the desired level of customization and personalization is crucial when considering this option. Alternatively, you could purchase a pre-owned tiny home by searching for listings online. One platform to find listings for existing tiny homes is tinyhouselistings.com, where approximately 563 tiny houses priced at $50,000 or less were listed around the United States as of June 8, 2023. Ongoing maintenance expenses, including repairs and replacements, should be factored into the long-term cost of owning a tiny house. Regular upkeep is essential to ensure the durability and functionality of the structure. Securing insurance for a tiny house is essential for protecting against potential damages, theft, or liability. 
The cost of insurance varies based on the value of the structure and its contents. For individuals opting to park their tiny houses in dedicated communities or on private properties, parking fees or lease agreements constitute an ongoing expense that should be considered. You won't have the enormous property tax bills that come with traditional home ownership. Still, if you live in a state with personal property taxes, you'll likely pay an annual personal property tax on your tiny house as an RV or trailer. You may be able to deduct the personal property tax on your federal tax return if you itemize your deductions. But without the massive expense of mortgage interest, you might not have enough deductions to come out ahead from itemizing and end up taking the standard deduction. Some tiny homeowners find themselves with fines for violating local housing and zoning laws and monthly storage space rental for excess personal belongings. Additionally, even though the house is smaller, it's no less essential to insure it. As such, it's worth considering one of the best tiny house insurance policies currently available. Incorporating reclaimed and salvaged materials into the construction of a tiny house not only reduces expenses, but also aligns with sustainable and eco-friendly principles. Choosing a minimalist and straightforward design can help streamline construction and minimize material and labor costs. Investing in renewable energy sources, such as solar panels and wind turbines, can lead to long-term savings on utility bills and reduce reliance on traditional power grids. The cost of land varies significantly from region to region, with urban, suburban, and rural areas offering distinct price points and considerations. Navigating local building codes and regulations is crucial, as compliance requirements can influence construction methods and costs. Access to resources such as skilled labor, building materials, and infrastructure varies across different regions and can impact the feasibility and cost of a tiny house project. Creating a detailed budget that encompasses all aspects of the tiny house project is fundamental. It's essential to allocate funds for both expected and unforeseen expenses, implementing cost-saving measures such as using reclaimed materials, minimizing waste, and optimizing the use of resources can contribute to significant savings during the construction phase. There's much more to tiny house ownership than simply saving money. It's about embracing simple living, freedom, and environmental stewardship while aligning with your personal values. Living in a tiny house can provide the financial flexibility to prioritize life experiences or leisure activities over work. However, there are trade-offs to consider when transitioning to a tiny house lifestyle. These may include challenges such as limited privacy, navigating property and housing laws geared towards traditional homes, and managing societal perceptions of your alternative lifestyle choices. Financial considerations are just the beginning of the decision-making process when considering tiny house living. It's a significant life choice that entails patience and a willingness to downsize from a more conventional living space. Experts recommend thorough research into tiny house living before making a purchase. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time.